Nasheed singer and composer Mohammad Yassin Sulaiman faces a possible death sentence and also life imprisonment after being slapped with two drug charges in separate courts in Petaling Jaya on Thursday. In the magistrate's court, the 47-year-old father of two was accused of trafficking 214 grams of ganja at his residence at Condominium Casa Inda in Kota Damansara at 5.30pm last March 24th. Charged under Section 39B, Subsection 1A of the Dangerous Drugs Act 1952 and punishable under Section 39B, Subsection 2 of the same Act, he faces the death penalty or life imprisonment and whipping upon conviction. No plea was recorded as the case is under the jurisdiction of the High Court. In the Sessions Court, Yassin pleaded not guilty to a charge of growing 17 cannabis plants at the same place, time and date. The charge framed under Section 6B, Subsection 1A of the Dangerous Drugs Act 1952 provides for life imprisonment and whipping if found guilty. Earlier, Yassin's lawyer Muhammad Yusmadi Muhammad Yusuf requested bail for his client on grounds that he had bipolar disorder and was receiving psychiatric treatment. He added that the singer was recently divorced from his wife. Both courts denied bail and set May 18 for mention. As he was being escorted by the police, Yasin, who rose to fame with the song Mimpi Laila, asked reporters to convey a message to Mua and P. Syed Sadiq Syed Abdul Rahman. Sampaikan salam pada YB Syed Sadiq. Minta segerakan keputusan cannabis kerumatan di Parlimen. When debating the 12th Malaysia plan in the Dewan Rakyat last September, Syed Sadiq had urged the government to consider the use of hemp and marijuana for medical purposes in Malaysia. He had the moral courage to discuss.